What's up, Internet? Turn 1776 here in my pickup truck, Reba. That's the name of my pickup truck, in case you didn't already know. If you don't have a name for your vehicle, I don't I don't understand anything. Anyway, me and Reba are on the road. I'm headed down to the river real quick. I got a product I want to show you guys, and uh, it's, it's not a... It's a new product, but it's not a new brand. So this brand's been in the game for a while, but I think this product is the perfect water purification, filtration system out there. I think it's freaking awesome. I'm gonna go down in the river. I'm gonna show it to you, get your thoughts on it. I'll give you the specs on it and uh, go from there. All right, so one reason I'm going to the river is usually every time I test out a water filtration system, I always do it right there at the house at the pond because it's, you know, right there. But go down here, get a little change of scenery, one. And two, we haven't had any rain in a while. It's been several weeks, so the river should be down. It's a nice overcast day today here in Georgia, about 65 degrees. I should be in a deer stand right now, probably. <laughs> Maybe later. But right now, we're going to check out this water filtration system. Somebody down here hanging out. Everybody always looks at me weird when I'm filming. What's this weirdo down here filming for? All right, so the company that I'm speaking about here is Grail, G-R-A-Y-L. Again, they've been in the game a while. Uh, they make great products. Uh, many of you probably use Grail. Uh, many of you have thought about using Grail. I'm fixing to show you something that if you haven't, this is gonna help you make your decision. All right, so here's the river the Ogeechee River, and uh, looks pretty clear. It's moving a little bit. All right, so again, the company I'm talking about is Grail, a very well-respected company when it comes to water filtration and sanitation and purification and all that good stuff, right? One of their, or, or probably their flagship product is called the Ultra Purple. It's called the GeoPress. And this is the GeoPress. Uh, many of you know about the GeoPress. I'll give you a real quick rundown. Basically, you have this, looks like a typical water bottle, right? Drink out of it, it's got a top there that you screw on and off. This is a little different. So it has this outer shell or outer cup, if you will, and an inner shell with the filter here on the bottom. And <coughs> what that allows you to do is this is considered your dirty container right here. You fill this with water, water. Everybody picks on me the way I say water, 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 water. Anyway, water, that's what I'm gonna call it. There's a line here. You fill it up to that line and then it's kind of like a coffee press. You crack the lid. It's got a red and green. Red is closed. Green allows enough air to escape. And you simply press this down. And while you do, the water goes through the filter and into the inner container. What this allows is one, you're filtering water. Two, you've got a container. And three, there's no worry of cross-contamination. Everything is contained on the inside. The mouth area you can drink straight from because it was not in contact whatsoever to the dirty water, water, and water, and uh, you're good to go. So not only are you filtering your water, not only are you purifying it, but you also have a container. And then, of course, if you got a buddy with you or if you're carrying more than one container, you can have another container, you can take this, fill, this container, redo this one, and you both have water. And there's no worry of cross-contamination. That's a big problem with a lot of water filters out there is you have the potential of cross-contamination via straws, putting it, you know, into, you know, a Ziploc bag or whatever that you're carrying it around in, however you're carrying it. There's always the potential of cross-contamination. Not really at all with this. I mean, it's freaking perfect, but this is not the product that I'm wanting to talk about. What I'm wanting to talk about is a new product that they just released and it's called the Ultra Press. The Grail Geo Press is 24 ounces, uh, fluid ounces. This is like 16. Yeah, 16.9, so like your typical you know, water bottle or drink that you would buy in a store. So this is a little more compact, easier to put in like sleeves on the side of backpacks, things like that. A little bit of design difference, but it functions the same way, it does the same thing. And it's called the Ultra Press. So a little size comparison, the Geo Press versus the Ultra Press. They're 
almost the same height. This the ultra press is a little bit shorter. Obviously, it's not as big in diameter. So really, the only difference is capacity and number of times you can you know, use the filter. So again, same concept. The top does not stay attached like it does on the Geo Press, which isn't a big deal in my opinion. It has a handle that you can rotate up and down, which is really nice. Um, the footprint here is a little bit smaller for where you press, but other than that, it's literally the same thing. Your outer container, which is your dirty container, your filters here on the bottom, and then your inner container. And then of course, these filters are replaceable. There's a little tab right here. You just pull that tab, give it a little rotate, and you can screw the filter directly off. You buy extra filters, you put them on, you just screw it in. It's got very good gasketing materials in there. Get it in the spot, lock it in. It's locked in by the tab and you're good to go. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's typical 16.9 fluid ounces that most bottles are. And um, it's a little more compact, easier to deal with. You can still refill or fill up other bottles, a larger bottle if you want to, base camp bottles, whatever. And then this is a good on the go and really a great everyday carry, just water bottle. Go ahead and filter the water that you get out of your tap filter the water that you're getting out of the water keg at work. Put it in this, yeehaw. Just crack the top and you're able to press it. So the packaging's really nice. It just sits in, in here. It's got a little booklet in here that tells you, you know, how to use it, how to change your filters, how to clean, all that good stuff. As far as specs, they're saying they're getting about 300 presses out of one filter. So it's about 40 gallons worth of water. Of course, that's subjective to the water that you're filtering. If it's got a lot of silt in it and things like that, it's obviously going to last less. Um, if you get as clean and clear water as possible, then it's going to last a little bit more. And you can kind of tell when your filter's getting close to being uh, needing replacing when it gets harder for you to press and use the filter. The more dirty it gets, the harder it's going to get water to flow through it. So again, it's 16.9 fluid ounces. It weighs about 12.5 ounces empty antimicrobial uh, chemical free 300 presses on the cartridge or the filter the shelf life of a filter when it's still in its unopened packaging is 10 years so that's really good so you can buy plenty of those and keep them on hand don't have to worry about them going bad they got durability tests on here 99.99 percent rotavirus norovirus hepatitis a bacteria 99.9999 percent E. coli, salmonella, dysentery, protozoa is 9.9. .9, so that's your Giardia, Cryptosporidium, and amoeba or amoebae. It filters particulates, microplastic, sediment, silt, chemicals, chlorine, benzene, chloroform, and heavy metal, metals, lead, arsenic, and chromium. So let's use it real quick and uh, give a little demonstration and taste test. Yeehaw, out here in Ogeechee. So again, as always, you want to find as clean and clear running water as you possibly can. I'm going to go out there a little ways and fill it up. All right, so I got it filled up right about to the line there. I'm gonna set that down on as solid a surface as possible. And then I've got my inner shell with the filter on the bottom. So we're gonna just crack this top a little bit so air can escape. It's got these pads here for you to you know, kind of help have a good surface to press. Put that on and just press it down. So while I'm pressing, it's forcing the water, or water, or H2O, whatever you wanna call it, through the filter and into the inner container. And again, this works the same on the Geo Press. This is the Ultra Press. So once it goes all the way down, it's all the way down, I should have a full bottle of water on the inside there. So we open this up. And I think I forgot to tell you guys, the main top does screw off. So for cleaning purposes, you, know, you can take the filter and the top off to clean you know your inner tube your outer tube yada 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 so all good so now we taste test it 
I can't tell the difference between this and water out of my tap or out of a water bottle I buy at a gas station. <laughs> Zero taste whatsoever. And I don't have to worry about cross-contamination, which I think is freaking awesome. So that is the new product line from Grail called the Ultra Press. So again, let me know what you think in the comments about this. I think it's freaking awesome. I mean, a great EDC size water filtration and purification system that's no fuss, no pumps, no straws, no having to worry about how I'm gonna store it, keeping things away from clean and clean from dirty. And I think it's just an awesome, awesome product. And if you want more capacity, you got the GeoPress. But for EDC, everyday hiking, packing, going to work, whatever water filtration system that you can use indoors or out, the Ultra Press is yeehaw. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Love you. Mean it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Comment down below. Share it with your friends. And uh, I'll see you next time with another video as I get hydrated. That is really good. Amazing.